Hi everybody, I've got a little bit of haulage to share with you. Not not a lot, but a couple things. I picked up a couple things at Sephora and a couple things at Kohl's. And I picked up a skincare thing at B&J's Wholesale, which I want to talk about because there's kind of a good deal at like wholesale places like B&J's and Sam's Club and stuff. But I'll get to, into that at the end of the video. So I'll start with what I got at Sephora. And I picked up, the first thing I picked up is a Bite Beauty High Pigment Lip Pencil. This is what the packaging looks like on these. They're, you know, a checky pencil. Here's the actual product, and this is the shade Corvina, or Corvina, however you say that. It looks like it's like a pink coral on the cap there, but it's actually a little deeper. I actually have it on right now, and I think it's looking a little bit deeper in the lens right now than it actually is, but that is definitely a representation of what it is. I mean, it's a coral pink. It's very pretty. It's, you know, it's identical to the Bite Beauty lipsticks. It's very creamy. It's very luxurious feeling. And, you know, it's pretty much just the lipstick formula in this chunky pencil style. It's, which makes it good for a precise application and such. But this shade is exclusive in this, and that's why I got it in this. It's, you know, it's a beautiful shade. It's a coral shade, but it's very wearable, I feel like. And it's a bit brighter, so it's a bit funner if you're going with a more dramatic lip. So, yeah. I like this. I like the format. I like the formula, so... I figured I'd grab it. Okay, so the second thing I picked up from them was Urban Decay Quickie Blush. I love this formula. I have Obsessed and Bittersweet already. But I picked up this. It's a very bright, like, neon pink. I haven't used it yet. Swatched it, and I like the swatch. So, yeah, but I'm loving this line. And I thought that this would be similar to the Bomb Lace. And it really isn't. Here, let me just pull it on out. And show you guys by comparison. Gotta slide it out. Here's the bomb lace, and here's Quickie. I want to say Crush, but it's Quickie. And I feel like on camera they're looking closer than what they are, but this one is definitely deeper and brighter. This one's a little lighter, which I'm surprised by because I sort of consider this like neon pink, and this you know takes it even a step further. So, but it's beautiful. I can't wait to actually use it, and. You know, it's probably the same. It feels like it's the same texture as the other ones. So, you can see the review there on them for my full thoughts and opinions on them. But, yeah. And then I picked up two things at Kohl's. I picked up two of the Read My Lips Bomb Glosses. This is the packaging. And it's just, you know, classic bomb, vintage comic book style feel. I love the way they do their packaging like this. So, a bit of a sucker for that. But I picked up two shades of the gloss and I picked up... The first one is Hubba Bubba, and this is just this gorgeous fuchsia red color, leaning a little more red or a little more fuchsia, depending on what you pair with and how you use it, but it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's very nice. It's very pigmented. I'm very surprised by how pigmented it is, because normally, you know, things come off a bit sheerer, but, I mean, see, there's, that's what I, I want to show you guys. A very thin swatch so that you can see this it really isn't really translucent. That's why I did just the very thinnest rubbed in swatch. So you can see it's not translucent. So I'm impressed with this. It has a bit of a apple type scent to it. So that's something to note if that's something that's going to bother you. I feel like these are a thinner consistency but not super thin and super slippery. They're not going to really bleed out but they're not as sticky or tacky as like a MAC or Stila gloss. So I'd say probably they're similar to NYX, but they're a little thicker than that. They're not as thin. So, just so you know about the formula, what I've experienced in the little bit that I've tried it. Then the next shade I picked up was Pop. And it's just this, it looks like this bright orangey coral. This one is more translucent. You know, you can build it up and get some color, but it's more translucent. It's more light coral. But I figured I'd, you know, maybe pair it over this or with a coral of similar color that's a little bit brighter to tone it down a little bit. So that's why I picked it up. Of all the ones I swatched, this was the most translucent. So if you're interested in trying the line, they're relatively pigmented, except for the shade Pop. And now the last thing that I got was skincare, and it's Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream. This is one jar here. I got a two-pack for $31. And how I did that was B&J sells the two packs for 
and b and had a $5 off coupon right there. And then there's online printable coupons for $2 off any Olay Regenerist. So I was able to combine and get it for $31. Now, even if you get it at Costco or Sam's Club, if you just print the coupons offline, you can print two of them because there's two jars. It's a dollar off each jar. You can still save four bucks, so it's still an excellent deal if you like this product. I believe it's usable on other products as well, not just the Regenerous line. Or just within the Regenerous line, not, you know, specifically this Microsculpting Cream, but it's anything that falls within the Regenerous line. So, if you don't like this or you like something different or you like the Night Cream from the line, you could grab it and use it with that, so... It's definitely a deal. It's definitely worth it. I like this as sort of a night cream. I'll probably do... A, I'll talk about it more in my skincare video that's coming up. Or that might have already posted. So, yeah. Definitely a deal. Definitely worth picking up if you like Regenerous line. So just thought I'd alert you guys to that potential savings on anything Regenerous. But that's my little haul. Let me know if you want to see more in-depth reviews on anything in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.